of Taiwan and Malaysia to do volunteers hold various events to mark the beginning of the Spring Festival. We learn why the early intervention program is important for children suffering from developmental delay. Welcome to Dai Headlines. I'm Helen Nia. Thank you for joining us. We kick up today's program in Malaysia. Volunteers at the Tzu Kula Jaya Retreat recently hosted their very first New Year's festival, to which they invited members of the community to take part. Amid the festivities, Tzu volunteers also took the opportunity to raise funds for the Penang Dialysis Center. But first, let's join Da and district Tzu volunteers in Taipei, Taiwan, as they celebrated the Chinese New Year through various interactive and fun-filled activities. The God of Wealth has arrived, bringing a feast of joyous mood to Tsuji's New Year celebration in Taipei's Dian District. The special guests of the day are these exchange students from Gambia, who are taking part in a Tsuji event for the very first time. It's a big foundation, trying to help the needy people, which makes me so proud. Though this is my first time to come here, but I, I have so many things, good things about the Suji Foundation. The event is filled with many fun and interesting activities for participants to take part in. Amid the joy and fun, volunteers hope that in the days to come, everyone can make the most of each day. While the New Year's Festival, organized by the Tsuji Kulajaya Retreat, includes various activities from dumpling making to the Chinese art of paper cutting. This event hosted by Tsuji allows our children to experience and get in touch with the Chinese culture. Instead of playing video games at home, I think it's very meaningful. While celebrating the New Year, volunteers also canvass funds for the Tsuji Penang Dialysis Center. Doing more meaningful things will bring us fulfillment. There are many dialysis patients who are relying on our support. If we all donate, if each person donates a little, it will accumulate into a significant sum. It's not only monetary donations that can inspire goodness in society, as the accumulation of everyone's love also has the power to bring about positive change in our society. In Taiwan, at the Tsuji Nehu Grants in Taipei, Tsuji volunteers held a spring festival last week, and although the weather was cold and rainy, many participants still showed up for the pilgrimage early in the morning. Meanwhile, Banqiao Tsuji volunteers in New Taipei City took to the streets to shower residents with blessings for the year of horse. Normally, inside a traditional market, vendors' shouts are heard, but here, blessings and greetings are exchanged instead. We wish everyone a happy new year. May the year of the horse bring great fortune, boundless energy and success in all endeavors. In the new year, city volunteers head to the streets, train stations and even fire stations to bring blessings and greetings for the year ahead. Volunteers also visit the head of Ji'an Boro, who is leading a group of residents in turning trash into gold. I do this weekly on Saturdays from 8 to 10.30. To make a difference, active changes need to happen. Chen Mingqing from Banqiao has learned to listen to others, following his absorption of the Master's words of wisdom each morning. Previously, I could only see things from my own point of view, but now I will listen to what others have to say. Normally, I would just yell. That's how I'd interact with my children. I don't do that anymore, though. 
Gaining Dharma has not only improved her family life, but Huang Zhuhui has also increased her wisdom and knowledge since studying the scriptures. Meanwhile, at the Ciji Nehu grounds, Ciji volunteers are preparing for a 6 a.m. pilgrimage on this rainy day by erecting a tent and laying down a waterproof tarp. Everyone's solemn sutra chanting overpowers the sounds of the rain outside. Participant Ding Xi Zhao is thankful that it's her right arm in a cast and not her leg. Otherwise, she would not be able to join the pilgrimage. My arm is in a cast, so it's rather difficult to kneel and bow. However, I just keep my mind on the Bodhisattvas and the Master, and it's like they are right in front of me, encouraging me. At the end of the pilgrimage, volunteers put on a short skit, which compares treading the Bodhisattva path with climbing a mountain. One young boy in the skit took the performance to heart. The mountain is high, but each bodhisattva needs to be firm in their conviction and continue onward. However, climbing at a quick speed, one will deviate, so we need to step slowly and steadily on this path. The Ciji Nehu Grounds' Spring Festival celebration had many activities to welcome in the new year, as well as unite everyone in walking the right path and doing the right thing. Following the New Year's holidays, today volunteer Sun Reizhe organized a New Year's gathering for his employees. Responding to Master Jian's appeal for the practice of vegetarianism, Sun arranged a vegetarian banquet for his employees to enjoy, while also introducing today's tea ceremony and Jinzi publications at the venue. Meanwhile, recycling volunteers in Taipei Songshan District and New Taipei City's Tuchan District celebrated their first work day since the New Year with the humanitarian touch. In Taipei Songshan District, recycling volunteers are celebrating their first day of work. They use recycled bubble wraps to mimic the sound of fire quakers. Volunteers drive recycling trucks to collect recyclables from the streets of Taipei. Back at the recycling station, senior volunteers get busy categorizing the recyclables. Their effort and dedication moves many to follow in their footsteps. To save our planet, we need to practice recycling. Seeing all these recycling volunteers come to sort recyclables, rain or shine, I was so moved. Working as a kitchen volunteer, I gave myself a chance to improve and grow with my fellow volunteers. Meanwhile, in New Taipei City's Tuchan District, Community members join recycling volunteers at the Dimpu recycling station. Later, they take part in learning sign language to better experience Ciji's brand of Buddhism. As you are sorting recyclables, you can leave all your worries behind. At that instant, you are free from the vexations that once haunted your mind. The New Year's gathering gives each participant an opportunity to cleanse their heart and spirit. Also marking a return to work are employees of a building material company which organized a New Year's gathering to include tea ceremony and vegetarian dishes. Master Zimian says that we need to adopt vegetarianism, so I arranged a vegetarian banquet to treat my employees in the hopes of inspiring them to follow suit. The owner of the company is Ciji volunteer Sun Reizhe. To promote Ciji's ideals, he brings Ciji's publications for his employees and business partners to enjoy in the venue. Ciji teaches us to cherish the resources of the planet. He uses eco-friendly materials to make his products, so I brought one home. Ciji's publications encourage members of the public to do good deeds. They are quite helpful in teaching us how to improve our interpersonal skills.
减弱当中。Thanks to city volunteer Sun Raider, participants have taken home Master Zheng Yan's words of wisdom, changing their lives and those close to them for the better. In Taiwan, scouts shown to thank police officers for their hard work in safeguarding the public during the New Year's holidays. Tzu volunteers gifted the officers with Tzu ornaments and Jingzi publications as a way to show their gratitude and support. Let's take a look. Seeing the arrival of the volunteers with Tzu ornaments and Jingzi publications, these police officers are all smiles. Though the Spring Festival has passed, the police here in Kaohsiung are still busy with the upcoming Lantern Festival. The best way to live a long life is to uphold the right views and avoid covetous thoughts. A strong mind can carry out duties regardless of how much work pressure it faces. Not afraid of job pressures, these officers dedicate themselves fully to their duties. Though unable to enjoy normal holidays like others, they say they are happy to be able to work on behalf of the public. Serving members of the public is our duty. We need to set a good example and cultivate our own moral integrity. Only when holding a grateful heart can one be truly happy and free from worries. The volunteers hope that by spreading their blessings to the city's police force, the city's officers will continue to carry out their duties with pride, professionalism, and compassion. According to research, there are approximately 60,000 children between the ages of 0 to 3 suffering from developmental delay in Taiwan. To help the Maria Social Welfare Foundation in Taichung City establish an early intervention program to help these children reach their full potential. Unfortunately, without enough funding, the number of children the program can serve is limited. Let's find out more in our next report. Wow, <laughs> this is three-year-old Chen Yi. However, from his actions, many may mistake him as a one-year-old. We don't know what will happen to him in the future. I think what we can do right now is prepare him for the future and accompany him every step of the way. Until he was 18 months old, other than crying most of the time, Chen Yi was very quiet. He didn't know how to say mom or dad. After doing some research, Chen Yi's parents decided to seek help from an early intervention program. When I saw the report, I knew I had to do something. When he was 16 months old, his language and cognitive skills were only that of a four-month-old. To make sure Chen Yi grows up like an ordinary child, despite having to take days off from work, Chen Yi's mother is determined to be there for him every step of the way. In less than six months, my son has improved significantly. I was surprised by his progress. When he first joined the program, he could barely speak. To help Chen Yi improve every day, he is giving a different type of training. Other than doing coordination exercises, we also hope to help them build parental trust. That's why we are using a tunnel like this, so when they are moving inside the tunnel, they will learn to trust their parents. <laughs> Today, the teacher is using light and an image projection system to help students learn what stars are. There is a student in the program who took nearly four months to learn what a star is. Today, he was finally able to point at the stars at the same time as his mother. He told us that the stars are very shiny. Although these children are either mentally or physically disabled, with repeated practice, they slowly learn about the world around them. Unfortunately,
There are more than 60,000 children from the age of zero to three in Taiwan that suffer from developmental delay and need our help. If parents can recognize what their child needs, early treatment can work wonders. This is five-year-old Hong Sheng, who at the age of two still was unable to speak. Before the age of two, my son basically couldn't speak. Thanks to early intervention program, however, Hong Sheng has slowly learned to speak. Now a kindergartner, Hong Sheng can interact and communicate with those around him. He has improved a lot. He is not that different compared to other children. Seeing him interact with his teachers and classmates, I saw that my son has improved a lot. Right now, I think he's just an ordinary kid. For children that show signs of developmental delay, early intervention programs can minimize some, if not all, of the long-term impact. If more resources are given to such programs, children in Taiwan will find it easy to maximize their full potential. Making use of the free time during their winter vacation, students and teachers at the Tsuji College of Technology and Tsuji University in Taiwan recently traveled to Malaysia on a foreign student recruitment visit. Their seminar held at the Johor Bahru Jing Si Ho attracted many parents who were all eager to learn more about Tsuji's humanistic education. Having traveled all the way from Taiwan, students of the City College of Technology and City University are here in Malaysia as ambassadors of their schools. Here at the Johor Bahru Jing Si Hall, many parents arrive eager to learn how City's educational programs can help improve their interaction between parents and their children. As the father of three, it's important during your child's upbringing to encourage clear and open communication so you understand them better and know how to care for them. After attending today's seminar, I feel that it's not always necessary to put on a stern face to get children to listen to you. If we approach it in a different way, talk to them in a more gentle tone, they might feel more at ease. The Dean of the TCCT Office of Humanities, Xie Liu Hua, encourages parents to leave aside traditional methods and says conflict does not lead to solutions. We get angry because we are too self-centered. We feel like we aren't respected and our authority has been violated. But if we can understand ourselves a little more, perhaps we can learn to open our hearts. Here at Peiching High School, TCU and TCCT students put on a traditional Chinese musical performance to show their counterparts that Tsuji's education is in fact not limited to religion. My previous impression of the school was that it was only for Buddhists, but what I saw today really opened my eyes. Through this international exchange, these young Taiwanese ambassadors hope to broaden their counterparts' horizons and help them gain a deeper understanding of Tsuji's humanistic education. Back to Taiwan, 472 teachers from China, Hong Kong, Malaysia and Taiwan recently gathered at the Jingsi abode in Hualien to share their experiences and learn from one another. Inspired by Tsuji's philosophy, many teachers promised to carry on the mission of spreading goodness when they return to work. Despite the rain at the Jingzi abode in Hualien, teachers from various countries listen carefully to a Jingzi abode master as they learn more about Tsuji's history and philosophy. Today I learned about the hardship Master Zhen Yan went through to establish the organization. In the future, I hope all of us can follow in the master's footsteps and spread Tsuji further, whether it is Tsuji schools, recycling stations or hospitals. Inspired by Master Zheng Yan's words of wisdom, teachers of the Guangfu Elementary School in Taichung City have been incorporating things the aphorisms in their teaching materials since 2011. I can incorporate Tsuji's philosophy and Jingzi aphorisms in my teaching materials so students can learn to have good moral values and conduct at a young age.
As schools are closed for the winter break, many overseas teachers see a chance to visit the Jingzi abode to share their experiences and learn from one another. After joining Tsuji, I discovered the true meaning of love. Isn't this something educators like us need to pass on to our children? We need to teach our students to love society, their families and our Mother Earth. Inspired by Tsuji's humanistic values, in the years to come, these teachers promise to carry on the mission of spreading goodness and love to their students. This year marks the 48th year since the establishment of the Tsuji Foundation, and senior Tsuji volunteer Yang Yuxue was the 44th member ever to become a certified commissioner. Following Master Zheng Yan from the start, sadly, the 85-year-old volunteer passed away on January 15. At Yang's memorial service, many of her fellow con counterparts came to pay their respects and commemorate the life of this loving volunteer. I didn't think she would leave us so quickly. I really miss her. Jinsu Publications has a volume of stories about living bodhisattvas, and one of those stories is about these three close friends. Originally business partners, the three later closed their business to fully devote themselves to Tsuji. As close as sisters, the three helped to plant many seeds of love in northern Taiwan. According to their respective ages, they were known as Big Sister, Second Sister, and Third Sister. I followed the Master to visit the poor and saw how much suffering was out there and thought I'm so fortunate to live a good life. So following the Master's words is the right way to go. Yang Yuxue was the 44th Tsuji Commissioner to receive her certification and was often seen as a mother figure by younger volunteers. Regretfully, she passed away from cellulitis complications in mid-January. She vowed to do Tsuji until her last days. Unable to walk, unable to speak, she fulfilled that promise. <laughs> Big sister Chen Meiju and other Tsuji volunteers fondly remember Yang at her memorial service. Putting on this uniform, I have to take it to heart that I'm a Tsuji volunteer. The master said that one has to take care of family as well as shoulder Tsuji's responsibilities. We go to Canada at the end of the show to spread Master Zheng Yun's words of wisdom far and wide. So today volunteers decided to promote the Jing Si Afrism volume that comes in four different languages to local hotels. Although the volunteers were turned down several times, it did not diminish their determination to spread the words of wisdom. We will leave you with these images. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.